Uh, hello, my dear listeners. Uh, this video will talk about uh, XRP, um, my the biggest investment in in my portfolio right now. Um, and um, the question of this video is: Are we at the maximum pain right now? Uh, well, if you've been an XRP holder, you probably experienced a pain and disappointment. I I did. Um, well, may, maybe well something that will maybe feel you a little bit better because I was watching this uh, candle on uh, July 13 on the announcement uh, of the uh, partial vic victory of the Ripple uh, in the lawsuit, and I was watching all the way here. I didn't sell, <laughs> and so I, I I've been then I I've been experiencing this uh, drying out. This is a ch XRP chart, a three daily XRP chart against a Bitcoin. And I have some um, indicator here that, uh, well, this is a, a dark blue card ind indicate the maximum pain. So, well, maybe we're just bouncing from like very over, over, uh, oversold level against a Bitcoin. Um, maybe it's, it's going to be a reversal, maybe not. Maybe it's going to be some consolidation and then. Uh, but we haven't been uh, here since... Uh, uh, early 2021 in this zone so the XRP is, is very cheap against the Bitcoin and another chart I have here I have all altcoin uh, well big altcoins here the Solana Solana is up since the beginning of the run here it's it's a daily chart uh, it's began in uh, no November 2023 when like uh, let's say Bitcoin ETF rally started and you have uh Solana against the Bitcoin plus 23 percent other against the Bitcoin plus 17 uh, plus 18 percent uh ethereum against the Bitcoin plus four percent dot against Bitcoin plus four percent BNB minus two percent and XRP minus 43 percent so we we done uh, basically on XRP um worse than way worse than all uh, major uh, like high uh, cap uh, altcoins. Uh, now the the, uh, the 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 positive news, the positive news um, that I would like to share. This is something really like important and uh, stands out. There is a meeting with the Visa and uh, BIS and and the Ripple uh, official. Please uh, take a listen. I had to listen to what. Eric Miltenberg said he's been working at Ripple for seven years and four months. And listen, when this man speaks, he knows exactly what he's talking about. And you got to listen to what he says. And then Daniel Eden, we covered him previously. He is working at the BIS for three years. And previously, he worked at R3 at the same time where they used XRP. And then we have Todd Fox from Visa, where he has been working at Visa, head of global policy currently for four, almost five years, but overall almost 12 years at Visa. Here's a little sneak peek to set the tone. You know, at the end of the day, obviously, you know, a good product, good service that, that solves a real world problem, provides real utility. It's not just about speculation and get rich quick, quick and pumping up the price of crypto. I mean, all these things will line up. I think they're starting to line up. I see the companies are, are really stepping up. Things that might go wrong <laughs> because I don't want anybody watching at home or in the room to be like, wow, the BIS Visa and like, they think that the world's just awesome and you know, Ripple's going to solve it. But obviously, this is a hard problem. That's the closest we're going to get to those closed door meetings. And uh, another passage from this video I found uh, important. Uh, really a fiat transaction. So from the end user's perspective, they didn't really understand or need to understand that the, the crypto was involved. All they saw was faster, it was cheaper, it was more reliable, it was available 24 seven. So all big improvements on what was happening before. So we're licensed now um, in many states in the US, we have a license in New York, um, we apply for licenses throughout the world. We have a major, major payments institution license um, recently granted by the MAS in Singapore. So over time, we really wanna be that that go-to place where you can, can, can move money quickly whenever you want, however you want. Um, and then start to layer on these other building blocks, if you will. So custody, I heard was mentioned in the prior panel, super important, we made an acquisition uh, there last year, a Swiss company actually named Medico, is now part of the Ripple family. And you can imagine tokenization is on the list, et cetera, et cetera. So, and you can imagine tokenization is on the list, et cetera, et cetera. So. Okay, so yeah, to tokenization, this is a big uh, building block that I, I think if uh, XRP is working on uh, to get into that, that uh, could even uh, send the XRP higher than um, pay payment system because it's like, like the tokenization, it's it's a, it's the biggest, maybe it's going to take longer. Uh, well, my opinion about the pain and how I've closely followed the XRP news that 
Well, basically, we have to wait a lawsuit, and there is another smaller lawsuit in California against uh, XRP2 company. Um, well, this might not be that significant, but uh, once the, the Ripple uh, like knows like how much fine is going to be, uh, John Deaton said, said that fine is not going to be, in his opinion, that's significant. Um, well and this is going to be end of the lawsuit maybe we, we're going to get some news of an adoption i don't think the lawsuit will be as impactful uh the decision now will be as big as the decision when the xrp was uh, deemed not a security on a secondary market sales but it, it will be it will, will like it will, will help the, the the price action and we, we, we will sp speed up adoption uh, then at the end of the year we uh, like i i hope that we will have a uh, election over we will have more regulation uh, and maybe new uh, um, chief of the crypto department and like uh, uh, lots of expectation that if Gary Gensler is not there we will have more uh, you know friendly uh, sick um, chairman that will also help uh, the adoption in the United States, the biggest pay payment market. But if the XRP is buying the company in the States, basically they already know that uh, things going to be okay for, for them. Um, otherwise, they wouldn't be investing in hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars buying, buying those li licenses. And uh, the partnerships can continue to line up. So, um, yeah. So the if you haven't been buying XRP, it's, it's basically like if you look at, the, at this ch chart, uh, here against the major altcoins you, you can try and it's basically most undervalued altcoin right now uh, be because of the, you know because of the certain things and how market uh, per perceive it uh, well I expect like you know the market would be pricing XRP better but you know I was wrong I'm, I'm paying that if you already hold XRP maybe you know uh, seeing sometimes somebody made a bigger bigger mistake that you make uh, gonna make you feel better so we probably you, you like you know it's uh, it's hard to uh, do worse than i did uh you know and if you find the information useful please like the video to support the channel uh please comment and thanks for watching